don't expect a lot of wintry weather, but the timing of it, bringing it in in those early morning hours of Tuesday could mean a slow morning commute. Outside right now, our roadways are drying in good shape, but there is a definite chill in the air this morning. A coldest air so far in 2019 overhead right now, 17 in Smithfield, 20 in Providence, 21 in New Bedford. But of course, got to add in the winds. You may have heard them howling through the night. Feels like five above in Plymouth, 10 right now in New Bedford. Single digit wind chill in Newport and Providence and in Smithfield. And so you're getting the kiddos ready for the bus stop. I mean, a chilly wait today. You'll want that warm coat, hat and gloves starting off in the upper teens. Afternoon highs are around 30. So those cold winds are leading our weather headlines. So the good news is, is that the winds do come down through the day. Tuesday and Wednesday mornings com commutes both feature some slick spots, potential for some snow and rain to mix. And then it's cold and looking dry right now for the late part of the week. Live Doppler radar is dry this morning, heading up 195. 95 or 295. No weather related issues for you. Your commute this morning again featuring those sunny skies and the temperatures running below normal. So around 21 degrees at 8 a.m. Still by 10 a.m. 26 and by lunchtime pushing 30 and we don't get much beyond that upper 20s to low 30s for our high today about 31 in Wickford and New Bedford Newport at about 31 westerly as well. Upper 20s to near 30 from Woonsocket to Johnston today. Cold dry conditions East Providence down through the East Bay Foster around 28 wind chill in the mid 20s will be in the upper 20s in New Bedford and about 30 in Seekonk. Here's your satellite and radar and you can see the clear skies over New England. Meanwhile, back to the west, that snow and that rain going to try to push eastward. High pressure, our fair weather friend will keep us dry through the day today. Just some increase in the clouds by the afternoon and evening hours. Now, initially, this leading batch of snow runs into a lot of dry air, so we expect that to fizzle out. But as the night goes on, our chances of seeing some snow and some rain will go up. So this is around tomorrow morning at this time. And you can see some snow in Providence and Boston and points northward. Now, ski country is going to make out very well over the middle of the week. They'll see in some spots over a foot of snow. But for our region, we do get enough warming that we transition any snow over to rain. It happens fairly quickly through the morning commute time. And then we'll get a little bit of a lull. Round two coming in tomorrow night, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning with a chance of some rain showers, possibly ending as some lighter snow showers. So here's a look at our forecast. I want to get up close to you because we do fall into the 20s and we're there for most of the nighttime hours. So we're set the stage for some cold pavement temperatures and uh, some cold enough air to start off initially as some snow. This is 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. So upper 20s inland Providence at around 30 31 in New Bedford. As the morning goes on, the temperatures do warm. Notice again up to around 40 by the end of the commute in Newport. So some rain showers and those rain showers will continue through the first half of the day. So I'm expecting less than an inch of snow for most of us, but it'd be enough to create some slippery travel conditions for tomorrow tomorrow morning, something to watch. Seven day forecast about 30 for today. We do jump up back into the 40s for Tuesday and Wednesday afternoons, Thursday into Friday, starting to cool back down upper 20s for highs Friday into Saturday. I've got Sunday dry right now, including for the Pats game, but I got to let you know that there is a storm that our computer models are saying will be out over the ocean. We've got to keep a close eye on it. Some of them do have it impacting our area, so we'll keep you updated. You can get any